There are several truly memorable scenes in 1982's E.T. the Extraterrestrial, but there's one iconic part of Steven Spielberg's sci-fi classic that almost never happened. Remember the scene where Elliot sets the frogs free and kisses his pretty blonde classmate in a cute recreation of John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara's big smooch from The Quiet Man? Well, it might have looked natural on screen, but for child stars Henry Thomas and Erica Eleniak, it was anything but. Eleniak, who was just 12 years old at the time, told Fox News years later that it was actually quite scary to film. The actress recalled, "...it was super frightening. I cried in my little trailer. Stephen came in and talked to me and my mom for ten minutes. He explained what a closed set was and how no one who didn't have to be there wouldn't to make me feel better, and I believe Henry Thomas was in a girl-haters club at the time. He was only ten, so he was unhappy about the kiss, too." Of course, Spielberg managed to convince the kids to go through with the kiss, but what has happened to Eleniak in the decades since? She got her first taste of adult acting some six years later when she appeared as Monster Bait in the 1988 remake of The Blob. But Eleniak's real big break came the following year when she was cast in the massive hit Baywatch. Eleniak starred as Shawnee McLean in the first few seasons of the hugely popular Lifeguard show, though the set wasn't quite as glamorous as you'd think. She told Fox News, "...when we shot that show, it was January. It was the coldest time of the year. We would use these huge lights to make it look hot and sunny. I remember running in the water on the coldest days of the year. Our lips were so blue that we couldn't use the footage. It was ridiculous." Eleniak quit Baywatch in 1992 when she started becoming uncomfortable with the direction it was taking and was quickly replaced by Pamela Anderson, who became an icon. Some blame co-star Billy Warlock for her decision to leave, but he says it was her decision. But because Erica was his girlfriend at the time, he basically pressured her into leaving as well. Well, I didn't take Erica with me. Erica is a grown woman and made her own choices. Eleniak didn't slow down, though, landing a memorable role in the Steven Seagal vehicle Under Siege. She said it was a great learning experience, which helped propel her to more roles throughout the 90s. But keeping her body in top shape reportedly took a real toll on her health. The Daily Mail claimed that she began to abuse laxatives, leaving her severely underweight and even leading to time spent in the hospital. Despite the pressures, she recovered, giving birth to a daughter in January 2006. Later that year, she participated in the fourth season of VH1's Celebrity Fit Club, losing an impressive 30 pounds in the process. She told People that she had indulged a bit during her pregnancy and needed to get back into shape, saying, "...I milked my pregnancy for everything it was worth. I did yoga, I ate everything that was good for the baby, and then I went to McDonald's." Since then, Eleniak has mostly focused on raising her daughter. She still occasionally turns up in movies and on TV, but she told convention fans in 2016 that her body no longer can take the rigors of the action genre. She said, "...I have so much damage in this body. I have nerve damage in my wrists from a stunt going terribly wrong. I've had a severed tendon in my hand. I have nerve damage in my knees. My ankle is messed up." Understandably, she now prefers character-driven roles over physically demanding ones. In 2018, Eleniak was cast in the indie thriller To Avenge, and she's also reportedly signed on to play the lead in the upcoming film Marilyn Monroe Returns. Here's hoping the future brings even more opportunity. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.